Hello, my name is Samantha Rice and I am a second year graduate student in the biomedical PhD program under the mentorship of Dr. Randy Wymore. My presentation is the investigation of the microbial and molecular correlates of Morgellons disease. Morgellons disease is a multi-system infectious disease that is controversial with the medical community. This controversy lies in the fact that signs and symptoms are often mistaken as a psychiatric disorder known as parasitic psychosis or delusional infestation, the belief that bugs are crawling in and on the skin. At this time, the etiology and transmission of this disease are still unknown. However, recent research suggests ticks as a vector for transmission and Borrelia burgdorferi, a bacterium as the causative agent. Morgellons disease affects all socioeconomic groups and does not discriminate. The hallmark symptoms consist of near microscopic and microscopic subcutaneous fibers. These lesions are spontaneous and slow healing and can range in a multitude of colors as depicted in the image below on the left-hand side. At this time, fibers are of unknown origin. Recent research suggests fibers are keratin in composition. However, more research is needed. Additional signs and symptoms of Morgellons disease include crawling, itching, and biting sensation on and under the skin, severe fatigue, joint pain, difficulty concentrating, changes in cognition, memory loss. This disease can be debilitating and cause depression. Our rationale for researching Morgellons disease is important because people are suffering and lives are being taken too soon. Our research can explore potential etiologies and learn about the transmission of this disease. Our research can also help establish diagnostic criteria, educate physicians and patients, and hopefully find a cure. In our lab, unusual microbial, microbial agents that are not readily seen on the skin will be tested, specifically Helicobacter pylori, the causative agent for stomach ulcers, Borrelia burgdorferi, the bacteria that causes Lyme disease, Bartonella henselae, the bacteria that causes cat scratch fever, and treponema denticola, the causative agent for periodontal disease. Our research plan is to conduct microbial techniques using McConkie auger, which is selective for gram-negative bacteria. We also isolate DNA from patient le skin lesions and perform phenol chloroform DNA extraction. We then take our DNA and perform polymerase chain reaction, also known as PCR, with specially designed primers containing our bacteria of interest. We then run our PCR product on a 1% agarose gel electrophoresis stained with ethidium bromide, and we visualize the gel using a UVIT transluminator. If there are bands present, we excise those bands, perform gel purification, and use a nano drop spectrophotometer to measure the DNA concentration. Our DNA product will then be sent to the Henry Belmont Research Center, OSU's core facility in Stillwater for DNA sequencing. Finally, bioinformatic tools will be performed to see if the DNA of our bacteria is present. In our past research endeavors, we have studied over 95 molecular epithelial tissue samples with each bacteria of interest, with 94 positive bands and 12 successful sequences. The core facility suggested looking into different gel purification techniques for a higher success of DNA sequencing. At this time, our lab is working to replicate these results. Our lab also used environmental contaminant controls to show these bacteria are not readily found in the environment. Those included epithelial cells from four human subjects, the autoclave in the Barson building, the main stairwell at OSU CHS, and the water fountain on the ground floor were all declared negative. We want to continue with our research by researching more samples and exploring more primers for different bacterial species that could be present. Create a standardized kit for environmental controls, create a database of samples brought into our lab. At this time, our research suggests there may be a co-infection involved in Morgellons disease. Continued research and the identification of these related strains will help to determine if an infectious etiology of the dermopathy is present, helping us solve the unknown mysteries of this mysterious disease. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation and have a wonderful day.